Hi, this is Derek Tsai from LearnByBlogging.com. Uh, I will be reviewing this book called Working Stiff by uh, uh, Working Stiff, Two Years, uh, 262 Bodies and the Making of a Medical Examiner by uh, Judy Melnick and uh, I think her husband TJ Mitchell. Uh, interesting book and you can follow along on by um, the blog here. So Dr. Judy uh, Melnick uh, uh, described her experience as a medical examiner uh, uh, performing autopsies on nearly 300 bodies in New York. And she shares some of her personal experience as a daughter to a psychiatrist uh, father who committed suicide when she was only uh, 13 years old. And you can learn a lot from her in a few ways, uh, how a person dies and what uh, happens afterward. Uh, not the afterlife, but uh, what happened afterward to their bodies. And uh, of course, uh, if you get to learn the forensic science and how to determine how a person dies, how to attribute the uh, the root cause. And as a person who's always curious about death, and uh, one of my favorite TV sh uh, HBO TV show is the uh, Six Feet Under. And I'm always, always fascinated by um, dead bodies for some reason. Uh, I know it sounds kind of morbid. But it's a very fascinating read if you're interested in that sort of things. Uh, the main reason Dr. Malnick um, decided to switch from being a surgeon to a forensic pathologist or the medical examiner uh, was to leave the 330-hour uh, uh, work week, which may result in hurting her patients because you know they wrote the wrong prescription, so she couldn't do it anymore. So, um, she decided to um, to become a medical examiner and went back to school and 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 um, and change her um, um, measure. So um, then uh, th this is a little bit my takeaway on the um, on the book. Uh, this is called decomps, uh, decomposition of human bodies when a body dies. Uh, this is how they call in the term. And um, the blow up of the skin due to bacteria, the maggots and etc. really uh, challenge a medical examiner in finding the, uh, the root, the cause of the death. Um, Dr. Malnick uh, examined many suicide cases, kind of uh, hit, really hit home, and having experienced her uh, father's suicide, it gets very personal for her. Uh, I think she is really the right um, person as speaking for, for the dead person. And, um, but she was willing to talk about it and confronting it, uh, confronting it uh, which is in a way very therapeutic for her. I'm pretty sure, and I agree that the committing suicide is a cowardly uh, act. But I, I sympathize with those people who are actually suffering through depression, and the family member who had to see the um, the self destruction of their loved ones. Uh, that's quite unfortunate due to the um, the human uh, chemistry. Uh, she distinguished the differences among the different causes of death. Uh, they are undetermined, um, homicide, accidents. Uh, therapeutic altercation and the natural causes. Uh, the personality, the responsibility really lies with the uh, medical examiner to determine the um, the cause correctly. Uh, if it's homicide, it actually need to be going to uh, uh, the detective uh, uh, need to uh, take on the case, and the rest of the time they just kind of you know, die with the, the the patient or the the bodies. A medical ex examiner does not really get to follow through on the cases uh, that came to their table, uh, which rule when, but only when they rule as a homicide, the detective must investigate, like I said. And the frustrating one is the one that she couldn't find a root cause, and, uh, and then she has to call it undetermined. So strange cases like a uh, headless man really washed out on the riverbank, turned out to be a handicap with the seriously uh, uh, gambling habits. And um, the non-human parts, like uh, animal penis, showing up in their um, uh, people bring to the medical examiner for ID. Um, a lot of practical jokes. And there was a body that was uh, not was no blood left. Uh, and the the mystery is that uh, the blood might have retracted back to the bone. Uh, pretty interesting, actually. Your bone is the one that create makes all the uh, the blood. And the bullet got flushed into the circuitry. The blood circuitry system end up very far away from the entry point. So finding the bullets, uh, if you have you know x number of entry points, uh, you gotta find x number of bullets. And if missing the bullet, it's gonna be very difficult to, difficult to explain. Um, <clears throat> and then there's um, um, 
uh, a alcoholic woman who fell on the chair and died, uh, killed by a strange, uh, uh, f fell off the staircase and died, uh, and turns out very likely is killed by her uh, strange, a uh, strange uh, husband, um, in the, in the, uh, uh, in very exp expensive homes in New York, and uh, and the hot water burned. Uh, a baby was burned in the, by hot waters. Uh, most likely, the, um, she actually testified against the uh, the mother. And the strange uh, trolley case. The trolley case is a antibody reaction to a blood transfusion, as was mistaken as a um, a drug junkie case, um, because uh, um, a lot of the um, the detection, uh, the the blood test, uh, urine test is not very accurate. So work, and then at the end, there was a lot of explanation, a lot of description on how she worked through the disaster of the World Trade Center collapses uh, during the uh, September 11, 2001. And Melnick has a first-hand knowledge of the human tragedy, the experience working through identifying the body parts for for the living who, who remains, uh, mostly doing for the uh, uh, the relatives and the friends. Uh, the gruesome scenes that she describes really make a deep impression on me. Uh, people don't understand um, what really happened uh, afterward uh, in the World Trade Center, and the uh, the charred, the decomposed body parts that had to be identified. Uh, they they have to identify for almost uh, 1,400 people out of nearly 3,000 casualties. So what a sad and, and tragedy um, incidents. In addition, they had to uh, contend with the the threat of anthrax and um, the, the subsequent crash of the uh, uh, American Airlines 587 in Queens, New York within two months of the 9-11. Another rumor that, that make, uh, really make their work more difficult. So like the, um, the last quote of hers, to, uh, to confront death every day, she did that for more than 2,000 um, uh, since, and to see for yourself that you have to love the living. Uh, how true it is. So confront the death every day and to see for yourself uh, you have to love the living. Um, so that kind of put your perspective on um, if you don't know how to die you don't know how to live and that's just kind of the, the same. So um, this is a book Walking Stiff by uh, Judy Melanick. Excellent book to read um, if you're fascinated in that type of stuff. Alright, that's all I have. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.